Recently, I've noticed more trash in the streets around Jacksonville, which can be an issue for stormwater systems, especially here in Riverside, which is one of our many flood prone areas of Jacksonville. Yeah, anybody that's hit a ball over the park in Drew Field and you wonder where it went, you want to save it, your home run, come see me. I may have it in this bag. In the last 13 years that I've been doing this, this is just partial of what I got. I've given away probably this many balls. It's no game. Rick Wilder has been conducting a study, as he calls it, for 13 years. You know, I can know, you know, when Tim says it's going to rain heavy, I know a couple days later I'm cleaning up garbage. He lives on Pottsburg Creek, his happy place. And I was talking to my neighbor here who owns this property, and we'd walk down to the creek, and he'd looked at it, and we saw this garbage floating in that. He goes, that's a terrible thing. He goes, somebody ought to do something about it. I said, you know what? I can do this. About once a month, he goes on the creek and picks up garbage, a lot of it. Garbage that originates here. A city of Jacksonville spokesperson says Public Works focuses on areas where there is potential for blockages, and they clear drains year-round. But it's also up to you to keep water flowing when it storms. Trash and yard debris can not only pollute the waterways, but they clog the system, making it easier for the city to flood. Jacksonville has 1,000 miles of stormwater drainage ditches, so there's plenty of areas to keep an eye out. If you do see a drainage area that looks clogged, call 630 City for the city to come out and check up on it. And they're clearing things all hurricane season long. Leah Shields, First Coast News, on your side.